Phil Watkins, Jamaican native based in Florida. Very, 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 very um, highly talented music in music, uh, to be precise, reggae musician. Mr. Phil Watkins, take us a little bit back, you know what I mean? Give us, give us your background a little bit. How did we start before we got where we are right now, in your own words? Well, first and foremost, my name is um, Phil Watkins. Mm -hmm. I was born in Jamaica. In the parish of Saint Anne, mm. you know, a lot of people probably get tired of me saying this all the time, but I have to <laughs> highlight some of the greats from where I'm from. All right, and I I know I'm in the category of greatness. Uh -huh. Bob Marley, the likes of Bob Marley, the likes of Burning Spirit, the, the likes of Marcus Garvey, mm. the likes of Shabaranks. Uh -huh. you know, that's where I was from. You know, from a humble beginning, right. one of the little country boy. You know, raising goats and pigs and chicken. Mm. Mm. You know, country, li country lifestyle. All little right. house, uh -huh. the little house with the two bedroom house with the outside outdoor kitchen and the outdoor, outdoor toilet. toilet, long drop and, and, toilet, and, and, and a whole lot of land around that little house. Yeah. You know, growing up not knowing that people consider that to be poverty when I thought I was living a a wealthy life, quality of life. Right, so, right. That that is, and I started going to primary school mm. in 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 Brownstone, and then I moved to the city area mm -hmm. to live with my aunt. All right, you know, who 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 played a role as a mother in my life in Kingston. You know, moved there at about ten years old. Okay. Going to primary school, then went to high school, and you know, going into high school must have been when when you when you move from country to to, to the city at ten. It must have been a shock, though, a little bit, yeah? Yes, because <laughs> them time that there was a whole lot of cars, you have to drive, you know, I mean, you have to find a pedestrian crossway for cross the road, and, you right. know, you see a lot of street lights. And... Right, right. Hey, but... hey, look here now. Look uh. here now. No, 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 no. Yet to. Uh. Yet to. Yeah. I had flush toilet for the first time. <laughs> Top one. And, and, and then... And then I could have turned on the light. There's like a white switch. I yeah. could have flicked the switch and the light come on. And tap water. And tap water coming <laughs> from a place where I have to clean the lampshade. I have to clean the lampshade at night. You know what uh, I mean? And, 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 and uh, gauge. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I see you. I see you, brother. And, and if you want to go in the night, you have to use the chimney. Yeah, yeah. Only, only to pee in the chimney. Number two, yeah, you have to go outside. 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 Yeah, yeah. Outside. Yeah, yeah. My mama would say, yo, you can't go out. Like, everybody go pee right now. Go do your business because we're going in. We're going in. Yes. <laughs> yeah, brother. So, so you, you're 10 years old now. You're in Kingston and you're, oh, you're open. Your mind is opening up to all these type of changes. Different thing. I go to the movie theaters on a Saturday. Call it Saturday Martin. Mm -hmm. Saturday Martin or whatever they want to call it. Yeah, I mm -hmm. go to that on Saturdays. My aunt to drop me off there, you know, cut up my bully beef sandwich, make my juice, and <laughs> yeah, and then moving on to high school. That's where mm -hmm. I started with my friends yeah, in that okay. era. Bounty Killer and Beanie Man was oh, the dominant folks in dance. Oh, when well, they were. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. era when they were, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, they were yeah. and everything. So, yeah. that is how now I really discovered that. Listen, mm. you have something in here now. Mm -hmm. What we do, we flash, mm. you know, sing over like somebody pick a Beanie Man song. I said, all right, you never ah. sing Beanie Man song. Yeah. I don't want to represent. Me, I got the bone to kill her. Break time when you're in, in, in secondary Break school. time. Or even yeah. sometimes when the teachers them turn them back and the teacher could go to star fruit for like, Five minutes. Clash. Somebody banging on the desk, yeah. Who the who the who the? Bring it down, the mercy, you know. You know what I mean? Well, what do you do? Who the? Who the? Nobody go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, bounty, bounty. That was that was them time. That was them time when that bounty and mini clash. Yeah, that was a historical thing in dance hall. That one. Yes, yeah, so in, in that time now, that is where I really discovered that, like, yo, Philly, I have something in me. Mm. At the in which I'll DJ over them people song, I was like to myself, yo, mm. but if you can DJ them songs so good, might as well use them melody mm. and put your own lyrics to it. Mm -hmm. And I have to pay respect to Ariel Walters, Jazzy Walters, Mr. Pepper, 
mm. and another brother named Mario guy. Mm. You know, them two virgin help right. own my craft. Okay. Help to develop what what is what is what I do. That's how it okay. started. Them. Right. Yeah. Big shout out you to know. them brothers there. Big shout out to them lot there. Shout out to Mr. Pepper. Mr. Pepper and I, we have a collaboration coming up called Still New. It's uh-huh. in the mixing process. Now we're going to release it sometime. Okay. So maybe next month or the month after. We're looking yeah, forward to that. We're looking forward to that. Definitely. True. Mm. So from there on, you know, I got you out the years in high school. And mm. after high school, after high school, then I leave... Uh, and then I went straight to perform. No, as a matter of fact, I think it's three years later mm. I went to performing art school to develop my craft. All right. But before that, before mm. that move to performing art school, mm. I was introduced to my mentor, Mikey Bennett. Mikey Bennett. Well renowned Jamaican Quincy Jones. This man is known yeah. for you. Singers. It's, yeah. Lot of big singers. This man is big in the industry in Jamaica. Mikey Bennett, that's a big, yeah. But, Mikey that, Bennett, man, yeah, man. That's so, a big, know, name, was, big name there. Truthful. Mm. Produce song like um mm. Brian and Tony Gold. Is that the name of Can You Swim on Any Beach You Want To? She mm-hmm. asked again, Can You mm-hmm. Stay Out Late? That, that tune. Right, you know, right. That, that song amongst many more yeah. so i was introduced to mikey bennett by a virgin mm. named abijah right. uh, not no. i'm getting a phone call I'm getting a phone call not no this is not good mm. uh i saw right? my apologies my apologies. no worries no worries my brother my apologies yes so mm. so i was introduced to mikey bennett by the virgin name abijah mm. abijah took me to mikey bennett and um tell mikey bennett like mikey you have to work with this talent. This youth is promising. He's a mm. promising young man. Mm. Mike said, okay. Yeah, man, I'll get to hear him in a few when I have some time. Mm. You know, only 45 minutes later, Sir B heard me and he was like, he was impressed. Like, mm-hmm. he said, yo, you got you got talent. Mm. But, you know, yeah, you, you, you need a little bit more Honey. intriguing melodies. All right. You need a little bit more intriguing melodies. You need to be molded a little bit more. Mm. And at the time, I don't know if I was ego-driven, thinking that, I've worked I, so I, many so years many, on this craft. Right, right. And now to meet a producer, because I said to myself, the song that I, I, I did for him, I said, mm. any producer hear me, me I got bust with. <laughs> this is going to be the tune I got bust with. Uh, yeah. And when he heard the song as a top producer, knowing who Mikey Bennett is, because yeah. that was who Mikey Bennett is, mm. and when him said, boy, the talent is about to need more intriguing melody. You need to make mm. your melodies more interesting. So I was like, Yo, listen, the and walk to well. home, yeah. my walk to go home mm. uh, is from Grafton Road to Dean Air Drive. Mm. It's about seven minutes. But, but it was stretch, long. It was long. That, 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 <laughs> that big stretch coming like it was 35 miles. It was long. I was looking to walk across the Sahara Desert. Bro. It was long. Long. <laughs> With tears in my eyes. Oh, down. brother. Oh, brother. You know? Mm. And, and then I, I, I walk, but fate have it. Mm. That when I was walking away in my mind, that I'm done with something that I haven't even started yet. Oh. I went home. I saw my auntie just pull up from, from the airport. She flew in from Florida. Mm. And when she before she went up, I asked my mom, to buy a guitar for me. Uh, and as I walked through the gate with my eyes red, looking sad, she was like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. I said, nothing. <laughs> she said, see the guitar here. Yeah. If you need a worse, your mother never going to send the guitar for you. <laughs> and I'd pick up the guitar and I was like, oh, mm. yeah. well, in my head, I'm going back to school. Mm. I'm, I'm going back to school. So, <laughs> the Monday morning, come the Monday morning, I can't forget. I put on my brown and white, dry polo shirt, my nice cargo pants, <laughs> and my my my, my canai slippers, right. strap slippers, uh. rasta you to my pocket to my side, and I put the guitar <laughs> over my back. Them time my dress was about uh. this short, uh. with my short dreadlocks come down and thing, and walking up Deaner Road, going over to Exit Community College. Right. On my way to student affairs mm. to register. 
I met this man by the name of Kenny Salmon. All right. Kenny Salmon now would be the rallying point that bring me right to something that I claim that I walked away from after having this conversation with Mikey Bennett, this meeting with Mikey Bennett. Right. Now, he said to me, he said, Rastaman, mm. do you play the guitar? I said, no, sir. <laughs> I said, no, sir. I would like to learn to play the guitar. Uh, they, said, they said, what are you doing here? I said, I'm going to the technical department <laughs> to sign up for the, uh, you know, architectural course. Okay. I said, huh? Architect. And he, mm. and he hold my hand and he said, come with me. You know, mm. when you walk along some car and you see some building and they tint on the inside of the glass, you know, see, you can't it comes see. a mirror. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking, you can see a reflection. He you said to me, it. come on. He right. said, look at yourself. You ah. know what I'm seeing here? Mm. He said, I'm seeing the next Dennis Brown. I'm seeing the next Bob Marley. Yeah. I'm seeing a great person. Mm. Can you see it? <laughs> and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I smiled to myself and I was like, what is this? And he said to me, mm. I am... I am I am um the head of the department, the performing arts department, mm. and we're doing an audition next week, Wednesday. Oh be there okay. nine o'clock. Right. If it wasn't for him, you could have gone ahead with your guitar and find for architecture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. I'll probably I'll be, I'll be a, a, a rich engineer today. A rich designer, you know, architect today, mm. well accomplished. Mm. But that's not what the universe will for me. Yeah. But inside <laughs> in, in, inside you, you wouldn't be the real you. Happy. Yeah, would you be wouldn't complete. be happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that. You know? Yeah. yeah. So I went to the audition, mm. got you with the audition. I mean, I mm. get you with the audition and everything. Um, I started. Mm -hmm. I did. I did. Um. Oh, my goodness. No, nah, no worries yourself, brother. Oh, you can hit it those, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, after Not... that, I, I, after that, mm -hmm. I did the audition. I got you three years later. Right. Three years later, bro. Mm. My final ear production. Okay. Here for this guy, one of the, um, what, what, what was he? He was one of the assessors. Um, he, he was doing the assessments when you don't mm. perform and everything, telling you your okay. capabilities you could yeah, do yeah. better. And where to improve, good. where to improve, what to do. Where to improve yeah. on the final year production. So mm -hmm. the first person that leaned forward and says, who wants to go first? <laughs> he looked left and he looked right. Uh -huh. And everybody was just like, yeah, nobody because wants to go giving, far. They were giving crazy rotten reviews, bro. Oh. Crazy reviews, like, oh. you know? So it's okay. like, when I forward and I finished performing, it's like I blew away everyone's mind and he said, who wants oh, to go first? Uh. And he says, <laughs> you, the first thing he said to me, uh. have you ever heard about a man named, by the name of Mikey Bennett? Mm-hmm. Now like, remember the story, good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Back way, back way. <laughs> When Three it, years ago, yeah, the yeah, person yeah. that told me that I need some, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? And yeah. I did something like this. Mm. When he asked me that, when he mentioned that name to me, mm. you know? Mm. And he said, come Monday morning, you're going to go to Mikey Bennett. Wow. Again, and Monday again. Monday morning for sure. Again, again. Monday morning for sure. When I reached to Mikey Bennett, this time, uh, this time I, had, I had the guitar. All right. The guitar. <laughs> and I was playing out. Mm. And when I played for him, he said, Let me hear what you got in the morning. Mm. I did, um, bless all souls, Jack. Bless all souls, Jack. Bless all souls, Jack. Hey. Mm. Mm. Look, man, I'm man. You sound good, man. <laughs> and I said to him, I said, I said, thanks to you. He said, what do you mean? I said, I, rem I said, you remember a couple years ago when he said, boy, you have the talent, but you need more intriguing melodies. All right. 
Mikey Zamana always have him glass like this, like, you know? And, uh, he, went, he, went, and, and then and he, he went something like this, like, uh -huh. why, why, why? Everybody can't take it. Like, how you took it and improve yourself? Uh, Instead of looking at yourself, if I'm trying to downplay their talent. Uh, uh, you know? Mm -hmm. And from there, that that Monday morning, uh, that Friday, the Friday of the same week, Desi Jones, Robbie Lynn, mm -hmm. Errol Brownie, quite a bit of great, some of Jamaica greatest again, mm. was there on my first production. Wow. Bless our stories, mm. Jack. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful thing. Which year was this? This was 2003. Oh. That's 20 so years thing. ago. 20 years ago. Two decades ago. ago. I, I'm on the cockroach. You know, the island, just a Listen to that, bro, brother. Listen to that. Yeah. That's what we got. I'm just a coming up. Yeah. I've a long time, you know. We wow. might not get all the accolades of the music and the popularity, <laughs> but I'm on steadily, huh? steadily blooming and, 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 and growing. Steadily growing. Mm -hmm. Still on the mission because... I'm breathing quite fine mm. and the inspiration still flowing. Yeah. You know, I have a little following. I have a tight knitted following that mm. supports my music and mm. it's going to grow and grow and grow. Every day. You know? Every day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, let, we, we give thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, Phil Watkiss is here. Go check him out in all streaming platforms, okay? You, your Deezer, your Spotify, your Amazon Music, everywhere there. Go follow him. Uh, his brand new video out, music video on YouTube is out. Best yeah. of time. Yeah, best of time is out. Go check that one out. Listen, my brother, we are talking about this one now, Falling For You. You got my mind and my heart and my soul. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Listen, one thing um, <clears throat> among us, well, reggae music, as a genre does, one of the most beautiful things that I really appreciate reggae music is the reggae love songs. Ain't nothing beautiful like a reggae love song. I'm yet to hear that. You see what I'm saying? I'm yet to hear, like, the way, to me, personally, yeah, the way it vibrates around me and the type of thing, right? I really, really, really kind of, it's a thing for me, you know what I mean? It's a thing for me. Me, I'm a regular song. It's a thing, right? So talk to me about this one, Falling For You. How did we, you know what I mean? Falling For You is an amazing track. And it's one of mm. my favorite songs, you know. It's one mm. of the songs, it's one of the songs wherever I go, people automatically start singing the chorus because it's so catchy and so, it feels so good. Mm. And, you know, reggae love song, we call them Lover's Rock. Mm-hmm. Lovers Rock, we call them. You know, bury some under quite a bit of those. Yeah, no. yeah. Barry. Falling For You is when I was rolling with my brothers. Mm -hmm. You know, Charles and Johnil and Lion. Yeah? Big up to the mute there. Big up. Yo, I'm telling you something. I love the mute here, you know. Mm -hmm. Charles and Johnil. Mm. Brother them. All so right. they, had this, they had this beat that they made together. And they call mm. it Love Escape. Nah. And when they sent, when they gave me the rhythm to make a song for it, I was in the beat was So all I heard yet to was baby girl, I'm falling for you. Don't you know I'm falling for you? Falling for you. I'm falling for you. You got my mind and my heart and my And we did the production on that. Um, Don't you know I'm rest in peace. Rob Letta, you know, um, did the background vocals on that one first. Mm. And rest, in, rest in power. Yes, Rob Letta did background vocals for Damian Marley for many years. And then she decided to part ways and she become a Christian. She passed away. Last year, right on our birthday, this year, 21st of January. Rest in peace. Rest, rest in peace. Yes, sir. So, you know, 
she she did the background vocals. Um, now we decided at the time I was working at Sam's Club, mm -hmm. the biggest the biggest slave plantation in this in this time in this day and age. Oh. Walmart, <laughs> Walmart, the biggest plantation, the biggest slave plantation where they use people. I ended up on that plantation. <laughs> you know, I was working there overnight. Right, I was right. Overnight and, 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 and I reached a point 2014 because I started working there from 2010. Mm. So I've been absent out of the music. Oh. Um, doing little gigs here and there, doing little recordings here and there, not giving much to the music. Mm. So I decided on the 14th of March, mm. 2014, I tell myself that this is it and I'm moving forward to who I am and mm. for my true purpose at what I'm here to do, mm. music. Right. And this would have been the song mm. that brought me back. Ah. And I went to Jamaica to do the production with Dean Fraser. Ah. Dean, Fraser. <laughs> Dean Fraser, another big name. Another big name. Yes, come on. <laughs> another big name there. Yeah. 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 Um, when I bring it to them, mm. brought it to them, and I tell them I want them to be, knock over this rhythm. They were like, no, man, for the, for the beauty of this song, it needs something a little bit more bright and open, you know, perky and just have a more loving feeling to it, mm. you know? Because the original rhythm was on a more somber, lower side, like. Oh. Oh. Right. But so you have to up to the make it bright. Bring some up, brighten, happiness, brighten it up a bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that is when I go on and you know, we're we, 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 we not the rhythm and, and, and Dean, Glenn Brown. You know what's so often I keep calling Glenn Brown? Glenn Brown is in the one, you know. Is it? Glenn Brown. <laughs> Yeah, honorable shout, out, honorable shout out to Glenn Brownie and Dean Fraser. Because you know them, I know Dean Fraser is a big name. Dean Fraser has been at it too long. It's like yes, a yes. done for done on this thing. Many great things, many mm. great things. And you know, they've been, they, they played, they were, they are very instrumental with Tara Ride with Black Soil Band. Yeah. Dean Fraser, Glenn Brownie, and Candy Guitar is string on keyboard. Uh, Vinny on percussion with this one, Natel, Natel with some harmonies on this one. All of them people, man, are some you know legendary people. Them. So, yeah. this is how you know Falling for You came about yeah. from Charles and Janiel to you know me leaving Sam's Club to saying that listen, music is my thing and that is I'm heading right now. 2014, this one, yeah, yes, I for Falling for You. Listen, brother. I understand, like, when, especially when you move now from, like, from Jamaica into a forest. You understand? Life is not. It takes a while to settle in. It's, 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 it's like the same, the same feeling come like when you move from country to the city, right? When you was ten, you move from country to the city. All the bright lights and everything and everything. It's different, like, but in the same way, when you move now from Jamaica and you move to Florida, you know what I mean? You have to get down, get get to know how things are done over there before you find your footing, right? It wasn't just easy like that. As a Rasta youth, mm. even to find a draw of herbs ah. was complicated. <laughs> because, I feel for you, brother. Because I was there with my old lady who is a Christian. Oh. So I never knew anybody. So that oh. was very complicated yeah. to, to adjust where even to have a smoke was concerned. Oh. But yes, to make the transition, the transition had done some things that, you know, led me to doing a nine to five, not mm. knowing what I had, not linking with the right people in yeah. the musical community. Yeah, exactly. I remember Fine. at one point, at one point, you know, after being settled there, in Florida, mm. I went to this place. It was called Top Up at the time. Mm. You know, they had um, an open mic on Sundays. Mm. And I went there with my guitar and I played Bless Our Souls and then I do Know My Friends. Mm. When I went into Know My Friends, start singing Know My Friends, I hear some people shouting out, mm. That's not your song. 
mm -hmm. in a patwa. Mm -hmm. And a film song that. And a <laughs> him sing it. And a him. Because they don't. Him. They can't put the face to the music, can it? Yes, because them time now, 2000, no, my friends was getting some nice buzz, but there was no face. face to there was it. no marketing team face to team. push oh, me out to the world right. uh, to help me blow up. You know, mm, mm. didn't have I didn't have the right team to help me get this thing out there. Mm. So that 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 was you know one of the energies I faced like where mm. I go, people believe that was me. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I just you know I didn't know the community that well has such a yeah. talent. Yeah, not, you know, not understanding the business, young mm. and you know, I was yeah. a wide director, but I never took the time to study the music. Right. You know. Or to go and socialize with people. Right. And I think that is a, a, a thing sometimes. I kind of like my space and like to be my own father. You but, know, yeah. I wasn't going out there as much. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, <clears throat> there's music and then there's the music in business. You see what I'm saying? Like, yes. uh, sometimes, like, you can, for most creatives like you, because you're heavily musically inclined from a conscious place. You know what I mean? You are heavily musically inclined from a conscious place. The business practices in the music business, you tend to like, ah, I don't really want to, you know what I mean? So you kind of, I'd rather maintain my energy other than come in there because that energy can, you know what I mean? I understand that a lot. I understand that a lot. But, and that's why credit to like now, I know there are a couple of people in your team, like shout out to Zion Rock and them and the people like them over there. They make it. It's like we come in, and now I've joined. I've joined. I'm not. I'm not a supporter of Phil Watkins. Now I'm a follower. You see what I'm saying? And I hope yes, me coming in. I hope me coming in is gonna bring one or two people. Cause I know one or two people who vibrate to this type of vibrations. You see what I'm saying? And, and you know what? Mm. Even if you don't bring one or two people in on board, you're in. And and this is a beautiful thing. Definitely, my brother. You are and, in. So, and that, go on. Sorry no, to interrupt. No, but there was something I wanted to get out as it relates to the transition here. Mm. Like, being in Jamaica, you know, living in, in your family place where you don't have to worry about much. Mm. As a creative, you get up, you know, you get your breakfast. Mm. You know, you have a little, you have a, a hundred dollar, two hundred dollar pocket. You can buy your herbs, mm -hmm. you can buy your mm -hmm. Rizla, yeah. you can buy a one guineas, you all a vibe at the studio. Yeah. You know, if lunch you buy, you can eat. Coming to America, living here in America is like, you have to pay the bill. A simple thing like a cell phone, you can't just put, <laughs> simply tap it up and talk and go and then when it's done. No, because that will cost you more. You know, life, you have life, to have a yeah. job, you have to have money, life and you don't live for foreign, free. Man. Life in a foreign, brother. Life in a foreign, brother. Ma, ma, man from Africa, me live in a London, brother. <laughs> now He's a I'm different. <laughs> in a yeah, insane. man. Insane. Life in a foreign, I like, joke. Trust me. Next thing. So that was one of the things them yeah. they do. I had to get you to do so. And that's why I end up doing my nine to five. Yeah, definitely. You have to pay the bills for that day. Yes. You see me? And I can't get up and live the artist lie. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm an artist. Dress up and look nice and you know, go to the studio, which they say music deserves. 150% of dedication. Yeah. But it's not so easy when you're living in a first world country. Yeah. Where everything is the nine to five bills in mule situation where bills, 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 bills. Capitalistic. Bills. Look, Capitalistic. Right. And if I look hard enough, I probably can find a table up or a bill somewhere. I just do the floor inside here. Hey, brother, listen. That's why man say, man a lion. Yes, I. Yeah. <laughs> a king, but them things may have pawn, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the only way we can survive in this jungle have to be a yeah. lion. Yeah, listen. A vibe to this one. A vibe to this one. Because in Africa, we have a saying that say, don't see the lion has been rained on and you take it for a can. <laughs> you see me? <laughs> That's the yeah, vibe. Yeah. Don't see a get shredded to pieces. Yeah, man. Watch out with that one. Yeah. Yeah, my brother. Listen. It's been nice. It's been lovely. Um, uh, 
Yo, ladies and gentlemen, if you late or if, I know you're gonna catch this later, whatever you're gonna catch this later, feel watching candid conversations nothing but positive vibes and go check Phil Watkins in all your streaming platforms right and there's this brand new video out on YouTube because man is always on YouTube there's this brand new video tell them about it again my brother so this video that is out now is my latest single it's called test of time mm -hmm. test of time come on positive song listen we've all been through some things in our lives yes everyone uh, yes but uh, we, 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 we don't become crippled by the things that we experience we find means and ways to overcome yes, right uh, above Mm -hmm. That is what Test of Time is doing. It's telling you to stand strong. Get up, mm -hmm. move forward. Put on your visor. Oh, yeah. Pull the lead. There you go. Test of Time. Listen to that. Yeah. Tune bad. Stand out to the Test of Time, my brothers. <laughs> Listen. Listen, my brother, it's been nice, it's been lovely. Uh, any other, any parting shots? Oh, no. Any last words? Oh, okay, okay, last words. No, 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 it's not. While they're it's, standing it's, up to the test of time. <laughs> it's, it's, it's never last words. It's mm. never last words. Mm -hmm. But, however, I'll full courage each and every one mm -hmm. to walk positive. Mm -hmm. Walk in the light of truth. Mm. Live upright. Don't just live for yourself. Mm. Because we are in some perilous time where we need each other. True that. True we need that. each other. And this is the time where we have to come together. Mm. Unite. Mm -hmm. One of our great civil rights activists, Marcus Garvey, said, United we stand, divided we fall. We fall. Now that. is the time for mm -hmm. Africa and Africans come together. Yes, sir. Rise up in our truth, rise up in our greatness, mm -hmm. and take full control. And then the world will follow suit because we are the gods and goddesses, leading by the divine, almighty creator. You know what I mean? Mm. Show a little love. Do not suffer in silence. Ah. Reach out to somebody and, and talk to talk, somebody. Talk to somebody. Yeah, definitely. If you yeah. cannot overcome it by yourself, Reach out for a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Here. Here. And Share. continue Share. to spread positive vibration. Continue to do good and good will follow you. Yes, sir. We give Just thanks. Relax. Phil Watkins. Give thanks, my brother. Beautiful, beautiful. And yeah. Uh check out Test the Time. Available on all your streaming platform on YouTube and everywhere there. So we're going to, we out. Bless up. Bless up.